Welcome to my Vintage Love. I am here today with a try-on video as a follow-up to our unboxing video, which we just shot. This is the second um, try-on video that we're doing after our second unboxing video, because y'all seem to like the first one so very much. So I'm gonna be trying on the um, items that I got in the box, and there's some light styling going on, just to give a general idea of how I would wear it, um, but I'm not going full on into all the accessories and anything, it's just a general overview of styling. So I really hope you enjoy this. Some of these pieces are just so much better on a body, I did want to show them to you because holding them up for the camera is one thing and the excitement of seeing it is one thing as it comes out of the box but seeing it on a human body is just a totally other thing so I really hope you enjoy this comment below and let me know which one your favorite one was and let's get going here we are with the first piece this and I'm starting with the gowns this is a beautiful light diaphanous 30s gown this beautiful ivory the the very subtle stripes and these ruffles at the shoulders and quite unexpectedly the black beads buttons on the at the bust and the shoulders. I'm not sure if this is original to the gown or was added later. All of these garments came from a costume house, so some things were added or taken away, and I'm not sure if they were original to them or added or taken away because they were costumes at one point in their life, but these are here. I think they're actually a really cool little um, addition to them, and it gives you kind of more options in terms of accessorizing, kind of, kind of unexpected, so you could go, you could do a black and white, black and cream story with your accessories to add to the interest to this dress, which I think is really cool. And it is full length, which I, you know, beautiful. I would love to wear this for a lawn party someday. And one of my favorite things is the pleats in the back. It gives almost a kind of a subtle train effect or thing, which I think is really cool. And my favorite part of this dress is actually the ruffles at the shoulders because it kind of makes the shoulders look, look a little bit bigger, which makes the waist and hips look a little smaller. And I'm a big fan of that because I'm pear shaped. So I just love the general silhouette of this dress and I hope to wear it to a lawn party soon and someday. So next up is this lovely lace gown. The lace on this is really, really beautiful and the cut is actually really lovely. What's most interesting about this dress is that someone has added these panels to the side. I assume they wanted to make it bigger for someone at some point. The panels are really, really well added. They're, the, whoever did it did a very good job. It's just they're very blousey and they look a little funny on me. So I'm most likely going to take this to my seamstress who is very, very talented and see what she can do with this. Probably um, just take it in on the sides. Um, it's gonna be a little more form fitting on top. But other than that, it's a beautiful dress. The other thing about this dress is it's kind of this um, almost yellowed brown color. So I'm going to soak it to see if I can uh, get it back to more of an ivory or white uh, lace color, which I think will be much prettier. I, I don't, again, I'm not sure if this is from age or if they tea dyed it at some point because it was used as a costume, but I'm actually really excited to see what will happen when I do soak it um, to see if I can uh, lift up the color and make it brighter and whiter, hopefully. So this is it full length. It's very, very light. It's very diaphanous. It weighs next to nothing. Um, the lace is really, really fine. It's really beautiful lace. I do wonder if Maybe this was made from lace from Victorian or Edwardian era, but it is beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful 30s dress. So I'm actually really excited to see what this dress will become once I get it, to, once I get the panels um, taken in a little bit, get it tailored and 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 not dye it, but um, but uh, soak it to see what color I can get it to become. So hopefully you'll see this on my Instagram feed or in a video in the future, looking much brighter, whiter, and more form fitting. Next up is this super cute 50s wiggle dress with the sequins on the top and the little ruffle on the bottom. It feels very cha-cha-cha. It would be great for Viva. I can absolutely imagine wearing this at Viva. Um, just gonna move back here so you can see this little ruffle at the bottom. Definitely imagine tearing up the dance floor in this one. I love a wiggle dress. This one actually fits my hips, which I am very happy about. It's a little bit big on top, so I will have to get it taken in if I do decide to keep it. And I love that it has a belt so I can cinch in the waist just a little bit. And I love the open neckline. And it's in amazing condition. Every sequin is here. Not a rip, not a tear, nothing. And um, can't wait to rock this out on the dance floor. Next up is this really interesting little black dress. And it's interesting, not because of the cut, but because of the fabric. The fabric is really unlike anything I've ever seen before. It um, it's, has a roughness to it, and it feels like a cotton of some kind or um, a linen synthetic. I actually have no idea what it is, but you can see the very, very interesting weave on it. I put it with a white 
lit slip so you could see the texture more easily. And it's just a very basic cut to it, very basic silhouette, very basic design, but the fabric makes it just an inherently interesting dress. There are belt loops, but the belt did not come with it. It is, it is lost to time. And I do wonder what the belt would have been like. Um, but this is definitely one of those dresses that you could dress up or dress down. Um, you could wear it with a black slip to make it a little more subtle um, or with a white slip or a colored slip underneath to really pop out the, the texture of this. So I think it's a really fascinating dress. I would love to know more about this fabric, um, this textile. If you know anything, please comment below. And um, yeah, it's just a really, really cool dress. Next up is this super, super classic, iconic 50s bustier with matching skirt. I'm very excited about this one. These kind of bustiers are very hard to come across just because they are so classic. Um, this one is a little big on me. I'll have to get it taken in. No problem whatsoever. Um, there's a little bit of boning in the bust. There's boning in the back to keep everything in. And I'm wearing bustier underneath. Um, and then it has this great, just little, this classic little white fold. I could wear this with anything, virtually anything, black pants, skirt, whatever. Um, it comes with a skirt and I've also paired it with this lovely saucer hat, which is another 50s classic. Um, I feel like I'm ready to go to the car show at Viva or even the Easter parade or any fantastic um, dress up event, um, but still look classic and elegant and maybe pair it with some gloves or something like that. I definitely want to show you the skirt. The skirt is part of what makes it so fantastic. It has, it's very light and diaphanous. It has two layers um, and it has these beautiful white um, applique polka dots on the bottom. And just do a little twirl here for you. Definitely want to wear this to Viva someday. Super, super cute. I can wear uh, the pieces separately, which is another great thing. Like I said, wear this, the boost day with pretty much anything and also wear the skirt with pretty much anything on top. So really excited about this one. And this will definitely be taking a permanent place in my closet. And look at this fun number. This is a little bathing suit set. Um, unfortunately, the bottoms are no longer with us. I imagine it probably had a little matching skirt or um, a bathing suit bottom or shorts, but I have paired it with these white shorts, um, which work pretty well, I think. Uh, so it's this little top with these great little frog button closures and then the bikini top, which is um, very cute and bandeau style with the straps right here and it ties in the back and it's lined in red, so you get that little peak of red at the bottom and the top. Um, it's definitely made for someone a little bustier than I am, I think, um, with a larger back, but still really, really cute. I don't know if this will make its way into my permanent collection, but I think it's really, really cute. I really would love to have seen what the bottoms look like, but still really cute nonetheless, and maybe I could wear it to the beach just once. Next up is this very classic, very sexy, bad gal halter top. Um, you know, everything we love about the 50s. I also have it in pink. I'm just gonna try it on in the, this cream color so you can just get a sense of what the fit is on it. I could wear this with pretty much anything. Right now I have it paired with a pencil skirt. Very simple, would also be great with a pair of high-waisted clam diggers or capri pants. And uh, my favorite thing about it is just the, the sexiness of the back is very, very cute and just a very good basic to have, I think. We can go with a lot of different things. Also great for Viva, all of those fun things, very 50s, classic 50s piece. So next up is this amazing novelty print blouse. I love a good novelty print, and this one is absolutely no exception. Um, it has a lady head on it, it has I love you, it has music notes, flowers, musical instruments, um, a little line that says, I gave my love a red, red rose. It's a really, really cool print. And it comes with a matching belt, which is really cool as well. Um, it's just a really cool little blouse. It might be handmade. Um, I'm not quite sure. It has this very cool scalloped edging to the neckline, which is really, really cute. And um, just a great little all-purpose blouse. Today, I've paired it with a, with, um, a pencil skirt. I would very, very easily carry, pair this with the high-waisted pants as well. Um, just a great basic little shell, but with a lot of visual interest. I might have it taken in on the sides a little bit because it is a little bit big on me, but I love this fabric so, so much that I really want to add this one to my closet permanently. And I just, like I said, I love a novelty print and they are hard to come by, so I will keep this one. Next up is this adorable little knit 30s blouse in this lovely apricot shade. I feel like this is kind of a popular shade during the 30s. I've seen a few uh, knit pieces like this in this color. And um, it has this just a great little basic everyday. It has a little snap right here and then this little, uh, little faux scarf thing and a little faux button there that doesn't actually 
button. And it's just, it has comes with a little tiny belt as well, a little tie belt. And it's just a great little basic piece. I'm sure this probably did have a skirt or a, something that went with it um, in its original life, but it is no longer. So today I've just put it with a black pencil skirt. Um, but again, it's one of those pieces that could go with a lot of different things and could be very, very fun to dress up uh, for a lawn party or just even to wear to work. It has a very kind of like everyday gal about town kind of feel to it and um, can't wait to wear it out and about. Next up is this great sweet little shell of a top as embroidery all over it and buttons up the back. Very great little 50s piece. This would be great by itself or with a jacket over the top of a suit and just, you know, just a great piece to build, build around and layer things on top of. So it's just a um, good little piece. And as I mentioned in the unboxing video, the embroidery ends about where the where it would go into a high-waisted waistband. So that's kind of one of those things that you see on um, tops from this era. It's pretty. It's quite common to see that when there are details um, um, on the top. Next up is a great basic 50s blouse, another one. This one is long sleeve, very sheer, and has this lovely little panels up down the front and it buttons up the back. Uh, another great piece to layer. I can definitely imagine this under a very crisp suit, a 40s or 50s suit, um, and just a great everyday piece. Could definitely wear it to work and look very chic, I think. I'm wearing it with pencil skirt now, but I would love to wear this with some high-waisted pants and a really sharp blazer and just look, um, look like a sharp-dressed lady. Last but certainly not least is this 20s, 30s bed jacket. And it's this lovely, light, diaphanous, longer length little jacket and it has this gorgeous gorgeous embroidery it fastens with just two snaps in the front and i'm wearing it right now with a repro 20 slip nightgown um, i imagine you could wear it with any number of pieces of lingerie from the past or repro pieces and it's just a great little piece very very light hardly feels like i'm wearing anything at all it looks like it's in perfect condition i doubt it's ever been worn and um yeah just a lovely little piece and for our very last piece is this really cool feather boa from the 20s and this is real ostrich you can kind of feel like there's um some a little more weight and heft to the feathers that you don't get from from other different kinds of feathers and it has these tassels at the bottom slip it on here really fast it has these little tassels at the bottom and then these little ties right here so you can make sure that it stays tied around your neck one assumes and you can Live out all your best flapper dreams. So this would look amazing with a this would look amazing with a 20s dress of any color, I think. Um, so it really has that kind of flapper vibe. I can imagine a, a girl wearing that back in the day to uh, give her give herself a little extra glamour in that whole, that whole flapper look. Um, so that's it. That's everything that was in the box. I really appreciate you watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this. Um, you all really seem to enjoy the unboxing and the styling, so I hope it was helpful in some way. If you have any information about the any fabrics or pieces that you saw, especially the black dress with the really interesting fabric, please comment below. I'd love to know more about it. And um, please subscribe below if you haven't already, and follow us on Instagram at myvintagelovblog for even more regular updates. And we will see you at the next one. Bye.